Hey everybody, this is Ron from Ron Cichlids. Here's all my hungry mouths. Uh, these are all African cichlids out here in our uh, outdoor pond you guys have seen before. It's probably 90,000 gallons. Seven feet deep out there in the middle and about uh, 45 feet across and about 50 feet long. But there they are. They are hungry. <laughs> They're begging, so I'm going to feed them. These things eat probably, oh, I would probably say six ounces of food a day. Maybe, yeah, I would say about six ounces. That's Bo. That's my puppy. He's barking at something. Well, oh, chickens want some too. <laughs> Yeah, these are all, uh, you know, extra females that we don't want or nobody needs or uh, babies that have made their way through the, the pipe that are growing out here. You can look real close if you zoom in and there's little Venustus and Redfin Borali fry out here. Um, you can see OB comps and Rostratus. There's trout in here, Redfin Borali's, Venustus. Um, OB redfin borelis. There's a redfin boreli. Iceberg fryer eye out there. Um, ton of fish. Rostratus, compressiceps, albino comps, tole, um, hocleseps. Just a wide, wide variety of fish. There's some venustus down there that are almost full blue. You see them down there shaking? Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, that fish right there that you keep seeing in and out, that's a Venustus right there. Way prettier than I've ever seen them in an aquarium. But this is all natural out here. There's Madoka white lips and there's an albino moor eye and the sunburst fryer eyes out here. Truly amazing group of fish. And um, you get to see them interact like they would in the wild you know these guys find ways to find stuff to eat during the daytime they don't mess with the smaller fish and um, they do actively hunt these minnows that are in the pond um, we have bullfrog tadpoles and leopard frog tadpoles I don't think they mess with them but they do actively pick off the little um, these are mosquito minnows they keep our mosquitoes down to a minimum here on the property and whenever those, they're like guppies, whenever they have new babies, the predator haps will, will generally pick them off. There's a blanket of uh, algae that grows in here. It stop, starts up top and then it goes to the bottom. Uh, helps keep the water absolutely crystal clear. And it provides a, a, a nice coating on the bottom. The places where you see it cleared out, where it's sand, um, that's the fish. They sift. Right. Feed them one more time. There's deep water haps in there, dragon bloods. Now you can see there's there is a pile of them in here. I mean there's there's got to be seven eight hundred of them in here. A lot of them are just sitting over here. The warm water comes out through there, so they'll stage up there. They like that little bit warmer water, but. I know we've done a video of this before, but I come out here every day and uh, I feed them and uh, I love these guys. They're just absolutely stunning. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye.